woman, Billy. I really am. I'm just sorry I'm not going to be a part of this wonderful family. Look, I've told you before, and I mean it. You can be a part of this family as long as you like, and you can live in this house as forever and ever if you like. Thanks. But now that Billy's going to be with Bo, Carrie's asked me to move back into the apartment. But I appreciate all your kindness. I really do. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Tony's here. Mm -hmm. You don't know I saw that, but I did. And I'm going to find out what it means. Tony! Alice! There you are. Yes. Is Kristen here yet? Yeah, I'm right here, honey. I thought you said you couldn't come. Well, the phone calls I had to make finished a lot sooner than I expected. <laughs> well? The Horton Center would never have been here if it weren't for your generosity. <laughs> so I'm delighted you're here to be with us. Mickey and Maggie are here. Oh. Hi, Tony. Oh, Hi, Tony. Hello. How are you? <laughs> so is uh, John here, after all, he's co-director with Kristen of the program. Yeah, I'm here, Tony. We were just discussing a toy distribution program that we want to do for Christmas. Oh, well, if you need any money, I can donate whatever you need. Now, wait a minute, Tony. We'll only accept a small donation. Why? Because one of the purposes of a fundraiser is to get the community involved in the Horton Youth Program so that people can feel like they are making a difference in their community. You get it? So, as much mm -hmm. as we appreciate your generosity, the community has to be involved. Yeah. I understand. But well, we could use some fundraising ideas if you happen to have any, Tony. Oh, I'm sure I can come up with a few ideas. <laughs> OK, let's get started. Tony, okay. would you like some coffee? Oh, yes. Excuse me, Alice. I'd love some. Right over here. Thank you. Okay. Honey, I know you're disappointed, but I promise you we'll get enough money and all the kids will be happy, okay? You well, see? if you come short. Only a small donation. Do I have your word on that? Yes, yes. Do I have your word? Yeah. Yes, all right. You, okay, yes, you do. Careful. Thank you. Tony, here's your coffee. Thank you. Uh -huh. Why don't you join us, dear? I think I feel like I was intruding. Nonsense. Helping others is a wonderful way to take your mind off your own problems. I don't know. I think hearing about Christmas and children and families, it would only remind me of how much I've lost. Maybe I can think of something that will remind you of how much you still have. Come with me. Where are we going? You'll see. It's amazing what a difference a year can make, isn't it? Tony. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Maggie. <laughs> sorry. What were you saying? Oh, I was just I was just remembering the difference between last year and this year. I mean, Tom was still with us. Gina wasn't even here yet, and Billy and Bo, they were just starting to fall in love. <laughs> I suppose when you get locked in a room together, it's uh it's one way of getting two people to admit their true feelings. What do you mean? You didn't know? God, Bo and Billy were locked overnight accidentally in Barron's department store. Billy told me that's the first time the two of them admitted their true feelings for each other. Hmm. Maggie. Yes. Is uh, Kristen nearby? Yes, she's straight ahead. Would you like to take this? Yes. Oh. I, I need to speak to her for a moment. Excuse right. me. Sure. I can handle this. Uh -huh. Kristen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I just remembered I had some calls I forgot to make. Could you excuse me? Of course. Yeah. Okay. I'll walk you to the door. No, no, you don't have to do that. Oh. Goodbye, darling. That's why I have Charles here. Oh, okay. Charles. I'll see you at home. Charles. Be careful. Thank you. Good night, Tony. That was really kind of weird. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was kind of like you knew something like you could see right through us. Well, I can't see anything. So I... Still, I get the feeling that something's not quite right here. No, I think it's just your conscience bothering you. I probably just feel a little guilty. Were your suspicions confirmed, Mr. Demer? Not yet. But thanks to Maggie Horton, I think I know how to find out if Kristen and John were lovers. 